That's a reset. I got like two runs right at the end, like right at the last two areas. Like where I had to get a good map, or if I would get a good map, then uh, then I wouldn't lose I wouldn't lose that much time. But if I would have gotten the bad map, I would have used it immediately because the, this one particular map that I'm talking about, which is um, Seabed upper levels, it's two and a half minutes slower than. Uh, than the other version. So if I get this one, it's pretty much GG. Um, what about episode 3? Um, I don't have a copy of it yet, and I... Currently, I don't have the time for to run episode 3. And even if I would have time, I would much rather focus on Advance Wars 2. Because, as far as I know, there isn't there um like there isn't a run that, like there isn't a grid glitchers run of uh, Advance Wars 2 right now. Like only a TAS and like the problem with Advance Wars 2 is since because um, like you cannot actually manipulate the things because it, like it kind of depends on like the delay of your attacks. Like if you attack on a certain frame, like you deal this amount of damage and like the test absolutely abuses this and it's not RTA viable so I kinda have to find uh, other strats for it which are RTA viable so yeah Also, I find it incredibly funny that that I have actually figured out a couple of things already for Advance Wars 2. Like that, most of the strats don't really like that. I found out like are not RNG dependent at all. Like you can do it play by play, or like turn by turn. So. That's always a cool thing, and I forgot to split. So yeah, like speedrunning, speedrunning wise, that's like the only game that I actually have time to actively run right now. Uh, which is actually pretty cool, like, because I don't... Usually like all of my speedruns that I've done before, like usually around one hour or two. And this is actually a very short game. Alright, have a nice meal. Thanks for watching, by the way. Damn it. Um. I guess like most of you guys that are watching right now are really interested into speedrunning, or at least into this game. Okay. Um, I was wondering, like, if you're watching like a marathon or something, they like that. It's. 
I kind of wanted to ask, like, what's actually really important uh, for you? Like, is it like the, the like? I'm pretty much going to ask you, like, what are, like, the things to make Marathon really good for you? Like, for example, like, if you watch a Marathon because of the games that are in, or, like, the runners, or... Like, like every Marathon has pretty much, like, its own aspect, for example. Um... Let's say RPG Limit Break, it's pretty much, like, a prime example. Like, RPG Limit it's RPG Limit Break is pretty much a uh, uh, RPG speedrun marathon, and I know like some people dislike RPGs in general because there is like not a lot of not of like movement tech going on. But like still, that like th it has a kind of different aspect. Like for example, like. Like, if you compare... Oh, holy shit. That's a bad fight already. Uh, let's see. Okay. Like, I know for me, for example, like, it's important to see, like, a big variety of games. Um, like, if it's the same games over and over again, like, different kind of marathons... I don't know, like, I'm not really interested in watching it, like, if it's actually... Like, like if it's always SM64, for example, in every marathon, then I would actually go crazy. First of all, I don't think my SM64 is actually a good... It's, I would say, like, it's a decent game. But it doesn't have aged well, in my opinion. I know it's like a timeless classic, for example, but still. Like, when I tried to play this game again, and why did I die there? Um, when I tried to play this, play this game casually again, like, I really had lots of issues with the camera, and I actually didn't remember that so like when I was playing this as a as a child but yeah other than that like commentary is also really important um, like for example if it's like a meme game like the commentary has to be fucking amazing or like if the game is really bad Again, like the commentary can pretty much help it a little bit to make it more interesting. It's like I don't know, I have an example for um, for a game right now that kind of fits into this category. Like, you could theoretically say SM64, but then, again, like, a lot of people will get triggered by that. <laughs> um, no, um... I, don't I think, like, most of the awful games... Most games on the awful games block, for example, is, like... It's like, if it's a really good run, it's, or like if people are saying like it's re it was a really good run, then it's usually because of the commentary. Or maybe this game is so bad it's actually funny. It don't have like, uh, I don't have a good example in my mind right now, so... Yeah. Um, most marathon runs are Banjo Kazooie. Where the Porto was was Oh it was AGQ fourteen I think Where Yeah, like I, th I think it was uh AGQ fourteen other one you're talking about. Um I don't really like Gaianjo Kazooie. Or like I don't like 
Banjo Kazooie as much as other people. Holy shit, that was close. Um, should have double up the tries. Mm, HTQ 15 as well. Could it could be? It could be. Half-Life with the crazy speed. Yeah, Half-Life, like, well, pretty much all of the Source games are pretty interesting to watch. The thing is, like, most of them, like, have been in the in the GDQ so much, it's, like, it's kind of getting boring. Also, like, the thing is, the thing about, like, PC games, or, like, Source games in general, like, they pretty much all have the same engine. Okay, okay, there's, like, kind of depends on the category, there are, like, old, there's old and new engine as well. Um, but I don't have experience with PC games in general. So, yeah, like, I cannot talk a lot about it. But usually, like, when, if, for example, if I would do, like, a PC run of a game that's, like, overly popular, like, I would... I would tr change it up a little bit, or like having like different skill uh, skins installed or something like that, like to make it a little bit different in terms of uh, like of a visual aspect. Uh, aspect, for example, like if I would ever run uh, like time attacks on a marathon from PSO, like I would. Like complete, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I would run, uh, um, like for example, like if I would run uh, time attacks on PSO, um, for example, for Towers of Future, I would just put so many memes into it. Like that, that will probably get banned for the next marathon by putting putting up so much memes. But again, like it makes the Even though like I like really like PSO as a game itself, it's sometimes it's pretty boring to watch. I'm putting like something new in there, like would spice up things a little bit. Also, I was standing on the wrong side. But okay. Uh, okay, that's a really bad fight, actually. Okay. Like, kind of, like, these kind of things can change. Like, they don't really change the run by itself, but, like, it makes it more appealing for people that are, like, sick of it. It's a shitty boss for a speedrun. The thing is, like, usually you get the... Like, you get the... Like, this boss has a... Okay. Uh, the pattern is always the same. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna suicide here. Yeah, the pattern is always the same. Um... So yeah, like that's what I'm normally want to do. But I'm gonna just gonna damage boost through this section, and I don't give a fuck about those enemies as well. Okay. I'm gonna just gonna get this out for safety reasons. Boss fight. <laughs> so 
So yeah, on this level I can also save like a couple of seconds by getting the wall jump on the boss. Also the worst enemy in the game. You just don't bother to fight him. It's no use. Okay, I have to be a little bit careful. So I'm not gonna go for this jump. There we go, okay, that should be a perfect boss fight actually. There we go. Yeah, the stage was a little bit slow, but... Yeah, like the boss fight was perfect. And this also, I, I think this one is actually the m most difficult one to get as well. Uh, okay, I'm getting hit there. Okay, I have to kill this one. I do like the chilling atmosphere on this level. There's not a lot of not a lot going on. Oh, you don't actually see most of the things. Five. Okay. Six. Okay. Shouldn't go for six anymore. Just five. Five. Okay. Because we're going for six right now. There we go. Okay. Good boss fight, no lightning attacks. So I should save time here. They're actually cold split, okay. I don't know why I tried to pick up this power up. It's no use, literally. Except if you make uh, bring this bird to spawn earlier, but it's not possible, so it's really much useless. Okay, so yeah, I... Oh, come on. Okay, that's gonna cost me a little bit of time. I have six. Um, four. It should be all right. Kind of depends on like the eyeball spawns. Okay. It's so, like sometimes those eyeballs can just spawn right onto you, and there is not a lot you can do. That's bad. Uh, now I have to be careful. Okay, troll bat. There we go. It's not a troll bat anymore, because now I figured out how to deal with it. Oh, my God. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can do this boss fight much faster, but... <laughs> it's dead okay. <laughs> Okay, that sucks. Um, come on. I have to get this apple. And for this mistake... I have to kill a couple of more enemies. And this usually means that I'm going to lose time. Okay. Yeah. Fuck this level. This one is the worst. Like that's how you're supposed to do it. But I've got hit way too many times. Yep, and this death <laughs> was kind of painful. But nevertheless, I should be able to PB if I don't die in a really bad spot. Which should be doable, actually. Because, like, the only time I really want to die is be, uh, after, uh, after the fifth boss. That's fine, but I'm not gonna take it. Okay. That's what's good. 4 HP, that's... That's fine. But it's pretty much average. There we go. I think I died on this. Uh, yeah, I think I died. In my PB, I died on this boss. And on Tanser as well. Oh, 
That sucks. That was a shitty boss fight. So many lightning attacks. So yeah, I'm gonna die here. So I will have full HP for this fight. Wow, that's bad. Uh, that was really bad. Come on, stop doing this attack. Yep, that's only for this boss actually. There's a power-up that can do this as well. And dead, okay. Cool, that's an another new PB. <laughs> Well, okay, that was interesting. Like, guys, all of a sudden I just caught like one and a half minute of my PB today. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I think like everything was everything went fine except for Blood Pool, like Film Mod Two and Blood Pool One, and like Aitos as well. Like Aitos, I can probably save another ten seconds. North Wall Two was also pretty bad. But yeah, this one was pretty good. 